right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want to get into today is regarding you possibly being a late bloomer when it comes to fitness. And I don't think a lot of people realize that the potential they truly have. Now, I've done other videos on this regarding this subject matter, but I'm going to hit other, I'm going to kind of give more examples because uh, I think a lot of people don't realize their full potential when it comes to their athletic ability, I guess you could say. That would also include losing weight or gaining muscle as well. So I just did a podcast recently with a good friend of mine, Brian Marchi, and he was talking about that actually he didn't discover his full strength or potential until his mid-40s. So we've been good friends for a long time. He's been watching some of my videos and you know, I wanted to have him on my podcast just because he's lost a substantial amount of weight and he just seems to be getting stronger mentally and even physically. I mean, he just seems to really be in the game. And one of the things we discussed was, again, people uh, kind of getting caught up in their past and thinking the way they were is the way they are now, especially when it comes to strength or coordination. And I'm here to tell you, don't get caught up in that. Uh, if you and I'm gonna give you some examples. So maybe you were in high school like when I was in high school I was the scrawniest kid. I graduated even at high school at 135 pounds I was only like five six now who I went to high school with my one of my closest friends We both basically came into high school at about 95 pounds When we graduated like I just told you I was basically 135 138 pounds five six He ended up being about six two, I think around 200 pounds that was the difference between the two of us. Now, he basically one year, his senior year, I think he grew literally 10 inches. But then, now let's fast forward, I moved to Florida, and then I'm 138 pounds, I start hanging out with another buddy of mine, Joey, from New York, and he was about 185, 190 pounds, I'm still 135 pounds, we're the same uh, height. And But through when I was 19 years old, all of a sudden, I went from 138 pounds uh, going into 20 years old, I all of a sudden got to 220 pounds. I, I, again, late bloomer. My strength catapulted. I also grew four inches. Now, I know that's not going to happen to everybody. But what I'm trying to use as an example is a lot of times when it comes to your body, and this goes for if you're younger or middle-aged, it's constantly changing and evolving. You may have been very heavy throughout your youth, right? But you never truly understood that you could lose weight and get in a lot of better in a lot better shape. Even if you were thin and scrawny in your youth, hypothetically, now you're middle-aged, you may be shocked at how much potential you have when building strength, okay? It's there a lot of times. You just have to sometimes get over the mental aspect that you're not that same person. This goes for fitness as well on many different levels. When you were younger, you again, I, I've discussed this, you, you could even, let's put it this way, you have seen maybe even throughout your life somebody in high school or even somebody who maybe even went to college where they were kind of like not that great, right? Everybody that was better than them, even, you know, the upperclassmen, all that stuff were faster, stronger, all those type of things. But then by the time it came around to the end of, you know, graduating high school or college before you know it, they were the strongest, they were the fastest, right? They were the ones that, you know, discovered their true potential. They never gave up on themselves. You may have not had any luck throughout the years. It could be through your teens, 20s, 30s, trying different types of things. It could be uh, lifting weights. It could have been doing aerobics. It could be uh, yoga. Whatever the case may be, you may have quit on yourself or said, you know what? You know, working out just isn't for me. Uh, fitness isn't for me. Playing sports isn't for me. Listen, there are so many different types of things you can do. And the bottom line is you gotta find what you love. And eventually, I really believe if you find something you love, you may not excel to be a pro or something very high end, but you can learn the skills to enjoy yourself. And you don't have to get caught up on YouTube or Instagram and competing against anyone. If you want to surf and you tried when you were younger and you kept, you know, you got the shit kicked out of you, go back out there. Keep going. Eventually, again, you may discover now, regardless what age you are, you have the potential and the coordination and the patience to learn how to do this. A lot of times, too, when we're younger, we just didn't have patience. Say you wanted to skateboard and, you know, you went and skateboarded, you fell a few times, you're like, I ain't doing this shit anymore. But 10 years down the road, you again may want to skateboard, but you're like, you know what, let me get a different type of skateboard for one. Maybe it wasn't big enough for me. Maybe the wheels weren't right. But you learn how to fall, get back up, fall, 
and you learn that coordination on how to do that. A lot of times we make things so much harder than they are. But yeah, back to fitness again or working out. You may want to go try Pilates, okay? You may want to try rock climbing. You may just want to hike. There's so many different things you can do out there fitness related, but again, you have to figure out what you like. But also, you gotta learn to take your time. Working out or doing anything takes a substantial amount of time. I talk about this all the time. People think they're gonna go, I don't care if you go play basketball, hockey, uh, play soccer, whatever. You think in like two weeks, a month, two months, I'm gonna get really good. I'm gonna get good as somebody who's been playing for a decade or two. That's not gonna happen. Also, don't compete against them as well. You sometimes get caught in life competing with people that have been doing something much longer than you have. So of course they're gonna be more advanced. That doesn't mean you can't catch up to them, but you also have to be realistic. If I go to, uh, if I went to go work out right now, say with a professional bodybuilder, and I've worked out my entire life, could I keep up with him? Probably not anymore. I could in my past, right? Even powerlifting, I was so much stronger in my past. Could I do that now? Of course not. I, I couldn't keep up with those guys. That doesn't mean I'm gonna quit lifting weights or quit working out. You gotta realize to take it slow, but realize it may take years, even a decade or so, to truly master certain things. But listen, the journey along the way is well worth it, I promise you. And this really goes for losing weight as well. You may have tried losing weight numerous, you know, numerous times, numerous different ways. There still may be a way for you to lose weight. You just haven't discovered it yet, okay? Same with building muscle. I know a lot of guys have worked out and they're like, man, I'm just not getting the results I wanted. Again, the workout you were doing just may have not been right for you, especially if you were working out, let's say in the 80s and 90s. Things are so much more advanced, so much more equipment. So again, don't get caught up in the past. A lot of people in their life when it comes to fitness are all caught up with what they weren't in the past or on the flip side, they get caught up saying, oh, I was so much stronger, more fit, more coordinated in my past. I lost all that. I'm never getting it back. That is not true. It may take more time to get that back, okay? But you can still find it, I promise you. Again, don't try to keep up with your past or try to catch up very quickly, again. So keep that in mind as well. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I just thought I would do another video on this because I, uh, it gets brought up to me more and more and more, people discovering how strong they are, and how much better fit they are actually middle-aged than when they were younger. And if you are one of those people, I can assure you, you could do it, it's just gonna take time. And you're also gonna to have to have, again, a lot of patience and endurance to keep moving forward, all right? All right, if you get a chance, check out my uh, podcast, The Rich Delenza Show, WTF Are You Talking About? I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you wanna watch that, uh, podcast. It's going to be coming up in the near future. Uh, Brian Marchi, he works for the Hilton Hotel. He manages one of the biggest hotels in uh, the United States, actually. And he is doing an incredible job regarding finding his true potential. And I'm sure uh, you may want to watch that. And also, if you could subscribe, and I'm telling you, you have the potential to do things physical that you may have never even realized. Just go out, learn how to discover it. All right? All right. Take care.